HCF of 72 and 126. To find the HCF, we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is, see, 72 here, 126 here. This is your step 1. Next. Last digit 2, E1, so take 2. First number 7, a number close to 7 in 2 table is 2, 3, 6. 7 minus 6, 1, 1 carried forward 12. When do we get 12 in 2 table? 2, 6, 12. Last digit 6, E1, so take 2. First number 3, a number close to 3 in 2 table is 2 ones 2. 3 minus 2, 1, 1 carried forward 16. When do we get 16 in 2 table? 2, 8, 16. Now 18 is 2 nines, 18. 9 is 3, 3 is 9. 3 is a prime number, so 3 ones 3. The other number, last digit 6, a1, so take 2. First number 1 smaller than 2, so 2 numbers 12. When do we get 12 in 2 table? 2, 6, 12. The other number 6, when do we get 6 in 2 table? 2, 3, 6. Last digit 3, not A1. So this number is not divisible by 2. Next to prime number 3. To check divisibility by 3, for that, we should add the digits. 6 plus 3, we get 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. So, this number also divisible by 3. So, take 3. First number 6, when do we get 6 in 3 table? 3 to 6. The other number 3, when do we get 3 in 3 table? 3 ones 3. Now, 21 is? 3 7 is 21. 7 is a prime number, so 7 1 7. Therefore, our HCF is HCF is the product of the numbers which should be present over here and also here. Here and here. So now let us find the numbers which should be present here and here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So cut 2 right here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. No more numbers have been left out. So our HCF is 2 into 3, 6 into 3, 18 is our HCF.